Hi, right, thanks for checking out our video on this channel. This is a um, all going to be a little uh, testing video showing a True Test HD series uh, low bar. This is a model um, HD 1010 low bar. Uh, it goes underneath a uh, manual squeeze chute. Uh, we troubleshot with the customer first before we had them uh, ship it out here. It um, what their situation was doing was um, it was. Uh, not weighing correctly it was way sometimes good sometimes off you know the front the back was off so we had them undo uh the little bars you know one at a time and step on the one end that's hooked up and one end weighed fine the other end weighed way off the deep end somewhere and it was also bouncing around wouldn't stay steady so um they ended up sending us the little bar to work on so we've already repaired it these things are kind of a cumbersome thing to work on but uh we're going to go ahead and we're going to you know, hook it up and show you that's working. So if you got a True Test low bar or a Gallagher low bar, even we work on all those those two different brands. We work on some other ones; they just don't come in as often. So True Test and Gallagher low bars we work on. Uh, what we're going to hook it up to is a Gallagher W210 scale. This is a base model scale that Gallagher makes. Uh, just a digital readout, glorified waist scale display is all it is. Um, the nice thing is uh, Gallagher and True Test use the same connector on their end of their low bar cables. So you can use a Gallagher weigh scale to work on a True Test low bar or a True Test scale to work on a Gallagher low bar as long as you calibrate the scale to the low bar. So that's what I had to do earlier. Um, so we're going to hook this up, which it already is, sort of hooked up over here on the side. We're going to turn this scale on. And show you that's working. So if you got one of these, happy to take a peek at it for you. We give free quotes and um, 18 month warranties. Anything that we work on. Now we're now I weigh about I weigh between 215 and 220. Depends on what I've ate that day. Um, but these true test skills wobble, so it's hard to get the weight just right because they pivot you know, forward and backwards on the scale. So I'm going to step on here. And depending on how I stand and where I'm at on it, you know, it depends on what it's going to show. So if I stand right in the center like this and roll it forward, see so it goes low. If I roll this way, it goes high. But it's right there where it's supposed to. It's right in the, if I could just stay steady on the stupid low bar, it might do a little bit better. But it's just hard for me to... A balance isn't very good on that stupid low bar when it starts pivoting back and forth. So that's the only bad thing about those those low bars. Let me do it again. It's right there where I mean I calibrated to like 218, 219 earlier, so it's staying there right where it needs to be. And it goes back to zero like it's supposed to. Um, so, but if you got a low bar, you know, a true test low bar or a Gallagher low bar. We work on all this stuff. If you've got a Gallagher scale or a True Test scale, we can work on those too. Now, some of the older gray colored um, True Test scale indicators are obsolete, so parts are getting uh, slimmer and slimmer to come by. But all their newer, or at least the yellow scales and the newer, uh, those can be fixed typically. I'd say about 80 90% of them can be. The Gallagher scales, their older uh, Smart Scale series or Ernie series, like Ernie 700, Ernie 800, Smart Scale 500, stuff like that, those are obsolete as well. They came out with a W series, I guess, a W210, W610, W810, 610s, and 810 Gallagher's are obsolete. They, they've been discontinued. All the parts are still available for those. The 210s are still being made. Uh, parts available for those um, HD 1010 bars are, are there discontinued but parts available for those the HD 1010s were replaced by the HD 5T low bars and you can't mix and match uh, HD 1010 bar with the HD 5T bar you got to use both the same style bars and then also I found out that if you have an older scale the scale has to be upgradable to the current software to be able to work with the HD 5T bars. So if you have to get a new HD 5T low bar set up, make sure your scale is new enough that it can work with those. If Or if it's older, see if it can be upgraded to the current software to be able to communicate and work with the newer bars. But um, hopefully that helps you out. Um, you can go to our website. we got two websites. Our repair uh, for cattle scales and low bars is cattlescalerepair.com. 
Our um, website for working electric fence boxes is um, fencerfixer.com. But if you go to either website, there is a link that will can take you to one side or the other. And if you go down into the um, uh, subject link, uh, tab or description tab down below, I got a link for both websites. So free quotes and 18 month warranties. This bar is basically new internally. Uh, come with a new cable already on the part as well. So uh, basically all the metal on the outside is what's still original. The inside guts are all new. So it's a very cumbersome thing to work on. These things aren't very easily taken apart and put back together without some finesse. So, but hopefully this helps you out. And like I said, we work on the Gallagher and True Test stuff. So until we do another video of how to work on one or how to test one, we will see you guys later.